believe and to help you to discover your God given purpose and I honestly don't know if we're live so I want to double check really quick uh, please let me know in the comment uh, if you if, if, if the video live so I'm still checking with you here uh, give me a minute guys yes amen now um this past whole month of January we've been talking about reset uh, to help you to to learn for you to you know, to, to unlock your potential to do something greater. And we're going to continue to keep prepping forward and, and just to believe that, it, 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 that there's something out there for you to fulfill something, what you are meant to call. And I want to go ahead and, and go and go into a, a word of prayer. We're going to open up in prayer to for the Lord will bless his service. And I'll be giving you this um, different amazing study as we close our sermon series, let's go ahead and, and, and go into a word of prayer. My loving Heavenly Father, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, for your faithfulness. Thank you, Jesus, to guide me and to help me, for me to always be encouraged, for me to always dedicate myself to the service every week. Father, I pray for Stephanie, and um, I know she has such an amazing heart, and I know, Lord, she'll be coming really soon just to help me, but I know that uh, that you are faithful. And thank you, Lord, while we continue to, to grow and, and to walk in you, Jesus, every step of the way. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Well, God bless you, folks. I want to give you guys some announcements. Um, starting on February the 6th, we are going to be doing a new sermon series on relationship goals. And this is a great way to learn, you know, for the scriptures. I know it's very popular, you know, in all in all ages, middle school, high school, young adult. And I know uh, finding that perfect someone is to 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 grow and to be a person what God calls you to be. I know being single and maybe if you're divorced, maybe you're separated, or maybe you're just being alone. But I, I know if, if when we go through battles and our thoughts, you know, we, we, we get into a lot of temptation and uh, we get trapped. And, and yet this is where the moment that we need to grow and to trust him. I myself, I'm 32 years old and I continue to believe that there's someone out there for me. But it's just, it's hard, but we're going to continue to believe and, and know that there's, there's someone for everyone. So I encourage you guys, starting on... February the 6th, the whole month of February, we're going to be covering relationship goals. And on February 13th, and we are going to have Dr. Javi Martinez and Elsa. I'll be doing a Q&A with them, maybe Priscilla or Stephanie. But we we believe that uh, a marriage should always be fruitful. A marriage should be centered around Jesus. And God created marriage in, as a covenant. But, you know, the Bible says in Genesis chapter 2, Verse 24, but man must leave his mother and his father, and they must be united, they will become one flesh. And let's get into our, our message today in part 5, and in our reset sermon series. I know um the beginning of January, we got a chance to talk to several students, um, and you know, as far as a, a Q&A goes, and then we continue going on to our 100th service. Thank you to Abel Gomez. I know he shared an amazing word. And thank you, Abel, for sharing for our 100 service. Now we're on, on 102. And I want to be honest with you, everyone. It's just it's, it's hard, you know, and challenging, you know, knowing I don't have anybody. But it's just, I just got to be faithful. And I got to trust in the Lord and for him to help me to to, to bring members, <laughs> to bring people into life purpose. And I know we've been at this journey for a year. And nine months but we're going to continue to plant seeds and to grow in our faithfulness let's get into our message for today i want to get into this one bible scripture and it's just a, the scripture i want to be talking about today is this one bible scripture so let's see here it says here um it says here we can make our our plans but the lord determines our step and that proverbs chapter 16 verse 9 so we can make our plans and everyone has a plan 
have an itinerary, a schedule, or agenda. It seems like when we make our plans, you know, we want to go after high school, you know, graduation, or career, or marriage, or, you know, trying to, you know, trying to comprehend the plans that we want to go to, the plans that we, where we desire that we want to go to, but we're always reminded in, in the scripture, we have many, many plans, but it's the Lord that will determine our steps. But see, uh, uh, in this life, you know, we, we uh, it, time is fast. You know, there's a season that we are kids, a baby, you're in elementary, then you get to middle school and high school, then you're a young adult, you're in early 20s, then you get into your 30s, and then uh, most of you want to get married, have kids, or then later, and after you're 30, then you become in your, in your 40s and 50s. It just seems like life has seasons. So we, uh, uh, as Christ followers, we need to continue to remind ourselves to, to reset our mind, to, to know that when we, when we reset our mind, to, to rely on Him because Jesus wants to protect you. Jesus wants to guard you away from, you know, um, destruction, from, from negative stuff. And uh, a lot of times that we fall into temptation, you know, when we fall into, you know, uh, battles and, 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 and struggles, but knowing that if we continue to to keep pressing forward and, and to rely on Him because in, in the same chapter, well, in, in Proverbs, Chapter, uh, I believe chapter 16, verse 3, if you commit all your way to the Lord, your plan will succeed. Because if you, we got to be submissive to the Lord. You know, yeah, it's hard going to church Sunday morning or Saturday, but anytime you guys go to church, and because we always put, you know, our, our priorities, our, our schedule first, you know, we always feel that, you know, you know, we might be overwhelmed, you might be stressed, you might go through, you know, uh, battles here and there, but this is a time that we need to trust and the Lord, and to for Him to give us the strength. And I want to uh, give a, an announcement. Thank you to Genesis Valencia. I know she's been helping me with the verses of the Bible scriptures. And when I send Bible scriptures in the morning, Genesis, she she sent me like a like a picture, and so she put the verses there. So thank you, Genesis, from the bottom of my heart. You know, to being part a uh, member of Life Purpose. But but going back, you know, um. Like uh, um uh, like I talked about that scripture that we have many plans in, in life. You know we desire to marry somebody. We desire to you know make our own decision. But it seems like in life that every day we have to make our own choices and our own decision because if we don't put our our faith in in in, in Christ and Christ alone, and then we we're gonna notice that it, things are not gonna work out for the good of His purpose. Because the Bible says and. First Corinthians chapter two, verse nine that no eyes have seen, no ears have heard, no human mind can conceive what God prepared for those who love him. We can't see how the year is gonna be like for twenty twenty two. And we can't see what's gonna happen in February, March, April, May, June, or the summer and fall, but we can continue to walk with Jesus. So look, look, um I wanna share two points, just uh, something simple. To equip you to give you the tools um, that what you need. So let's let's go into step number one. It says you pursue your uh, pursue your purpose. You know, in this life, everybody, every human being. You know, think about it. Are six point five billion humans in the world, and God has a purpose for everyone. Now, the Bible says in Ephesians. Chapter two, verse ten, that we are God's masterpiece. We are created in Him to do good works, because if the, we we all are very unique. We are are very unique. Now think about it. There's only one of you, in the whole entire world, generation to generation. There's always there's only gonna be one of you. There's not gonna be another uh, Stephanie. There's not gonna be another uh, Co Flores or Jennifer Valencia or uh, or John Martinez or but there will never, never in the whole lifetime, there's only going to be one you. So you, because you are four, you're very unique. The Bible says in Psalms 139, verse 14, that I praise you, Lord. I am wonderfully and fearfully made. Because when we find a purpose in life, see, maybe your, your purpose when you're going to the military, education, or you want to do ministry, or you want to go 
out there to do something great in your life. But yeah, I want to encourage you to to to, to know that, that, that there's a purpose for your life. Because the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21, that many plans in a person's heart, but there's a lot of purpose that prevails. Because when, when the Lord wants to help you, so you see, there, there's times that I pray and, and I ask the Lord to guide me or help me find the right person in my life, and be a girlfriend or or something, but yet I have to continue, you know, to, to keep my eyes on Him because the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, we say upon Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, because we're going to uh, continue to, to pursue our purpose. So that's step number one. See, in, in, in this life, we need to uh, set our, our, our hearts on Jesus. You know, knowing that we want to have a successful year of 2022. We want to make sure we do everything right. We want to make sure we make good decisions, you know, have strong friendship, or we want to make sure to, you know, uh, be blessed in, in, in a financial area or, or be blessed, um, you know, just to have a, a good year. I know the times that we will make mistakes. We will go through, you know, a bumpy road, but we, we, we pray the Lord. The Lord is, is His mercy and His forgiveness and His grace will continue to, to, to help us, to keep us going. So we talk about step number one, and pursue your purpose. When we, when, we, when we reset your direction in life, always put Jesus in the center in, in your life. I know this is January, we're always going to go into February next week. And, and, and this is important to evaluate, to examine yourself. You know, as a person, what God created you to be. So we'll, let, let's continue uh, going into the uh, to the scripture. Let's go to now. Um, here, point number one is to know Christ. You know, I like how the Bible says in Matthew uh, chapter four when Jesus walked up to um, the two disciples, they were fishing. He walked in the Sea of Galilee. He said, "Follow me." You know, we need to follow him. Yeah, it, it, it takes courage, discipline. It, it takes, you know, heart of, you know, to, to seek God's purpose. You know, going to church every week or find friends to do Bible study with. You know, continue growing, continue seeking God's best for your life. And it's uh, very important, you know, uh, if you're a believer, if you are a follower of Jesus, and let's continue reading. I don't know if you guys watching the video, please like or uh, to, to, to verify if the video is live on Life Perfect or on YouTube as well. So um, let, let's, con uh, let's continue reading. So if, if to, um, please say if to direct your purpose, if to direct your purpose. When you take a hold of your purpose, uh, and if maybe if you're a person who desires something great in your life, see the Bible says in Philippians chapter 2, verse 13, that God is working in your life through the desire of your heart. You have that desire. You have that potential. Because the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 31, if God is for you, who will be against you? Because we serve a God that created the galaxy, the universe, and it's just an amazing even yeah, he, he he named all the stars by name. Now there's a lot of stars, amen. So so now so, so we need to direct our purpose. We need to align ourselves with God's word every single day. So if we continue to, you know, to discover something purpose in in, in God alone, He's gonna help us every step of the way. And the first step number two is to create a plan, and if to be patient with the process. In life, we need to create a plan. Because the Bible says in Proverbs that well vision, my people perish. So if it's good, if you have like a plan, you have priorities, you have goals, you want to do something great in your life. Now I myself, you know, we've been in this church ministry for a year and nine months, and and it is hard. <laughs> but but yeah, I want to continue being faithful and be fruitful. Cause I know one day. Uh, I, I do believe I'll, I'll get a building in the future. Hopefully, we get members uh, later on in the future. But well, right now we're we're in a season that I, I need to be faithful to the Lord because I need to trust 
the process. I need to wait on Him every step of the way because because of Him that God knows the step I need to take every day. God only one can open doors that no man can shut. God only one I can go with you know with, with a heart with expectation because if we continue to to fall back, but yet God is faithful to carry us to to help us. Every step of the way. I like what the Bible says in Psalms chapter 91 verse 11. That he will charge his angel. And he will protect you every single day. Amen. So um, let's, let's continue um, with this. Oh, snap. Okay, um, if you guys can give me a second. I need to go back to find my sermon here. Let's see here. Okay, season, breaking free. Okay, here you go, here you go. Um, this is determined to change. Okay, uh, okay, uh, Matthew. Okay, okay, uh, I, I found it. So let's continue. So we talk about step number two is to create a plan and it is to be patient with the prophet. Now, here's the statement I want to talk about today. God has, God has perfect timing. And trust Him. So when you reflect your direction, just know that God has a perfect timing in your life. So we're going to continue in a life perfect ministry for the whole year of 2022. We're going to be faithful. We're going to keep planting seeds. And yes, the are weeks are going to be hard though, but I am very faithful from Stephanie. I know she came a week ago. Um, it was it was rainy, it was thunderstorm, but yeah, she came. And But I'm very faithful you, Stephanie, if you're watching this video perform. Let's continue, uh, uh, but that's my message today. I know it's a really small devotional, but I just hope you guys continue to be able to, to pray for me. Just continue to, uh, um, I can find more people to help me. I also I want to say a special big thank you to Genesis Valencia. I know she's in high school and she still helped me with the scriptures, but thank you, Genesis. So let's go ahead and, and close this service in prayer and uh, join me, guys. Uh, Next Sunday, uh, we are going to start a new service series on relationship goals. So let's just go ahead and, and pray. Um, my loving Heavenly Father, Jesus, thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, for, for always helping me every step of the way. Lord, I want Life Purpose to be a ministry, Lord, to, to reach out to, to many, many people that are looking for you, looking for the purpose, and that they're looking for answers, and they're looking for hope. And I declare in Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen. Well, God bless you, everyone. Thank you so much for supporting me. And uh, we do have different platforms. You can support the ministry or to, you know, to follow ministry. We do have Facebook, Life Purpose on Facebook. And Instagram, you guys have Instagram. Uh, we have, we're on there on Instagram. Thank you for Stephanie creating Instagram. And also, we have um, YouTube. Uh, if you want to follow YouTube, we have YouTube on there. I do label the service number so you can um look at it in order well god bless you guys thank you so much so god bless you